All right, the one feature that I really like about Transaction Desk is um, the templates. So when you are writing an offer or when um, you go into the wizard, it'll ask if you want to use a template. So it's very, very simple to set up template. You just click uh, the little setup here and then Transaction Templates. Uh, now I have a couple set up and the office sets them up. I'm going to hit a filter to just show mine. Okay, so I have two. I have one for listings, a residential listing, and I have one for residential sales. So if I just want to add another one, let's say I want to do one for condos, I'll put one on here, condo PNS. Okay, and then change this to condo sale, and then hit save. All right, now it'll ask you um, if you want to add some checklists. So you can add checklist if you have specific contacts that are going to be on to every single one. You can put that in there. Um, if you're going to have a same folder or document, and then add forms. So I'm going to add forms. I'll click add. Then I'll go to statewide forms. And a condo automatically pops up because I told it was a condo. So on a condo, we're going to basically use the same, pretty much same forms. So I'll add a 22A, I'll add the 22D, I'll do a J, I'll do a K, okay, I'll do a T, and then I will do the 35, okay? So now what will happen is when I need to add, or when I pull up a template for forms, all these forms are going to automatically show up, okay? So uh, there's really no save button that I can see on here, and I'm not sure why. Close all those, and we're all good to go. So um, that should be it. You can again pull up the basket. Uh, there's nothing in there, but if I go to dashboard, and I create a new transaction uh, right here where it says templates I go condo purchase and sale and then wherever the source is and then create oops, we'll do test 5 I'm sure I don't have a test 5 in there yet and then do create um, we'll wait for this to pop up but then I'll just keep hitting next until we get to forms you'll see that the forms automatically pop up and I don't have to go in and select them and do all that. So um, it's just much easier, it's much faster. You can do that for just about any kind of transaction you want. And then if you wanna make sure you go through your checklist, you can go through your checklist and create those and all that good stuff. All right, pretty easy, took less than three minutes.